Hello, fabulous superstar Libra. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of June 2020, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. It is a phenomenal astrological month. That is the sentence that I'm using to start all of these monthly videos because it really is that special. It is this astrological month that I think will stand out in the context of a very powerful year of 2020. Part of the reason is because of the beginning of an extended eclipse season that'll take us right into the month of July. The first two eclipses happen this month. The third and final eclipse happens next month. This is rare and this is special. It is eclipse season that allows us to recognize our spiritual lessons that much more. Now for you, that first lunar eclipse happening right around June 5th takes place in a part of the sky that has to do with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. And it is also connected to information, communication, conversation, and contracts. And so this is a powerful time. On the one hand, you may be looking at filling out documents, submitting paperwork. You may be seeking information now. The thing is with this lunar eclipse, uh, some of the energy here can be frustrating. I'm so sorry to say that, but it is this lunar eclipse that is happening across the sky from a retrograde Venus and also is speaking in a conversation of tension with Mars. This sets up a larger conversation that astrologers call a T-square. So yes, it may feel like there is urgency around who you need to talk to, what documents you need to get signed and delivered. At the same time, this part of the sky being connected to siblings, cousins, and neighbors means that these very people may be asking for your attention rather quickly in some cases. So for some, it may be that they are reaching out to you and hoping that you will participate in something or help them out with something. But for others, it may be that something is happening in their life and you have some strong emotions around this. Just know that these particular people, they will likely be especially sensitive now. It is gonna be important that you be mindful not to push buttons in any way where you can help it because uh, it is possible that these very people may have very strong reactions, especially in the early days surrounding this lunar eclipse. But this energy will pass. The thing is when there's such heightened energy, it also has a particular speed to it. So it can come, but it can also go. And it is gonna be as we navigate later into the month on the summer solstice, the 21st of June, is when we are going to have a solar eclipse. This solar eclipse is special for a few reasons. You've had eclipses here for the better part of the last two years. And this is the last of a series of eclipses. And so this taking place at the very top of your sky, it does suggest a brand new beginning in the context of career, social standing, life purpose. Just days before this solar eclipse, Mercury will go retrograde in the same part of the sky. And so it is very possible now that a career related opportunity that you thought was gone comes back around, perhaps very much by surprise, allowing you to feel like there is the opportunity here for a brand new beginning, for a fresh new start. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a couple of things I do want to mention. One is Venus will go direct just days after that solar eclipse late in the month. And at the same time, as we navigate in the last days of the month, Mars will enter your opposite sign. Now it's this move of Mars that is special. Normally, Mars will step into a sign for about seven weeks every two years. This time, we get seven months of Mars in your opposite sign as part of the upcoming Mars retrograde season. Now, I'll be here to talk about it every step of the way. We're not there just yet this month. This is just the beginning of Mars in your opposite sign. And this is going to bring partnership into focus, urgency around connecting with another person. 
If it is that you are open to meeting someone new, most of the month it is going to be about that Venus retrograde. And Venus is retrograde in a very worldly part of the sky for you. And so you seem to be especially aspirational or hopeful in the context of love, even when it's hard, even when there have been disappointments. And attractions to people far away may very well be playing out. But by the time we get to the end of the month, there is a real desire to connect with someone in real life and in a meaningful way. And that can have you behaving particularly courageously. For those of you who are just starting to date somebody, I do think that all is not necessarily so clear with that Venus retrograde most of the month staying strong. And yet by the time we get to the end of the month, all that fresh energy in the context of love, well, it may very well help you to feel like you truly are ready to connect more deeply with this person. I will add though, the lunar eclipse in the early part of the month in a communication part of the sky for you, if this person says something that really does not feel right, that lunar eclipse is a very all or nothing kind of energy but Venus is retrograde and the final answer may not necessarily be clear. If you find that you are one of those people who was dating somebody and then it didn't work out around that lunar eclipse, by the time we navigate to the very end of the month, that is when you may be taking another look. And for those of you in an established bond, do be mindful of your words in the early part of the month with that lunar eclipse. Whether you intend to or not, they may come across as particularly strong or aggressive in a way that perhaps provokes very strong reactions and that includes in partnerships as well. But for all that, once we navigate late into the month, it does look like your partner will begin to be a special focus for you. There's that much more motivation to stay connected and to give more of yourself within the bond. What I love about this month for you, well, look, in addition to the things I mentioned, another big thing happening this month is Jupiter meeting Pluto in the sky for their second of a total of three connections they're going to make over 2020. This meeting is taking place at the very foundation of your chart, helping you to see your past differently, transform your understanding of what has been before so that you can bring a spirit of forgiveness to it. This could be a powerful moment late in the month. But for all that, when I look at how consequential this month is, it does tell me that we as a collective are living through special times. For you with Venus going direct as we move late into the month, well, that tells me that something within you as your ruling planet moves forward is ready to be more clear and is ready to move forward as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded, exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.